probably didn't expect me, now did you? We're glad to have you here, and uh, we're excited to play some Family Fellowship. I see uh, we have Dad, we have Bruce and Suzanne, Fred Brady, a couple of Bradys here. Uh, Shay, glad you're off my account. Uh, Brad from Kansas, along with Dylan. Uh, hello from Gardner. Barbara Landis, Chelsea Rankin, Lee, uh, Ladina Twiddell, Mom, and Maddie. So glad to have you all here. Uh, go ahead and let me know in the chat where you're from, if you're just now hopping on. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm a little nervous being behind camera. Normally I'm over there working on the computer, getting everything set up. This is one of the first times I'm actually behind camera. And uh, just be patient with me. We'll, we'll try to get through this. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do 50 Bible trivia questions. I know uh, last Sunday a lot of people enjoyed the picture of the behind the scenes shot uh, from services. So what I did is I made a quick video showing you what it looks like here. So we're going to go ahead and cut to that. Okay, so here's kind of a behind the scenes. We got the green screen here, although I ended up going with the blue screen because when I do green, it looks a little funky. Uh, got the light stands right here. Kaylee's right here doing the live stream for me. Uh, she has the program OBS, that's how we're live streaming. I've got PowerPoint up here uh, with the answers. I'm not gonna show you the answers. I don't know all the answers, so. That's how I know what the answers are, and then your comments are over there. And here's the phone that's recording me in that corner right there. Uh, microphone, another microphone there. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get started with the game. All right. So before we get started, I just want to let you know if you hear a dog in the background, it's because I'm not the most vocal person, and whenever I tr talk, he tries to over-talk me, so uh, we might have to pull out the spray bottle for that. Uh, let's go ahead and get into Family Fellowship. There are five categories. The first category is Who Am I? Who Am I is the first category. And to give you the answer, I'm Nick. All right, so first question. I was told by my mother to find a virtuous woman. Who was that? Who was told by my mother to find, to, who was told by his mother to find a virtuous woman? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. Maddie says Samuel. No, not Samuel. Who was it? Hey, there we go. King Lemuel in Proverbs chapter 31. Looks like Miles and Miles got it as well. Question two. Who was Elisha's servant? Who was that? I'll give you a hint. It's in 2 Kings. <laughs> All right. Grandpa Lowell got it. Gehesi, Gehazi? Gehesi? Might spell it a little wrong. Gehazi. Gehazi in 2 Kings chapter 4. Question number three. Who was Deborah's husband? Who was Deborah's husband? I think we had this in the, the last trivia. Miles got it. There we go. Lapidith. Grandpa Lowell's trying to save time with the shortcut. Just typing L. <laughs> Question four. Who did Luke write to? Who did Luke write to? I know for a fact we had this one in the last trivia. So this is a good refresher. From the book of Acts. Theophilus, correct. Good job, Maddie and Brad. Question five. Who was Hosea's wife? Who was Hosea's wife? I think I'd be a little embarrassed to have this name. Gomer, correct. Lowell and Barbara. Next question. Name both of Ruth's mother-in-law. Name both of Ruth's mother-in-law. We got Naomi from Maddie and Rahab. Yep, got both of them. Uh, and 
good refresher posted by mom is if you're not keeping up with the live feed, make sure to click the button uh, to the bottom, like about right here, about right here. Click the live button to catch up with the live feed. I know there's a little bit of a delay, so uh, if you see people answering before you get it, then that's why. All right, next question. Who was Timothy's mother? Who was Timothy's mother? Not Louis. Hey, Luann's here. And so is Fabron. Uh, looks like Luann got it. That is Eunice. Eunice is Timothy's mother. And we're probably I'm probably pronouncing all these wrong, so uh, if you pronounce it a different way, let me know. I guess you could type it out, but I'd probably read it the exact same as I pronounced it. <laughs> uh, good to have you here, Fabron and Luann, Aiden, Miles. Grandpa Lowell got it as well. Next question. God increased, Paul planted, and who watered? Who watered? M Miles, got it? Uh, so did Barbara. Apollos. That's in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. All right, next one. Name Lot's sons. Name Lot's sons. There's not a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> three to uh, no two two to be precise in the book of Genesis Ammon and Benami uh, close uh, I don't know if there's a different version of it um I think I'm going to go ahead and give it to Brad. I, th I think that's close enough. Moab and Ben Ami. <laughs> All right. Uh, three names in 3rd John. What are three names written in 3rd John? 3rd John's a pretty short book. Only one chapter. Let's see who has the fast fingers and can type in all three names. Third John, Maddie. Not not just John. Third John. <laughs> Demetrius is one of them. Yep. Diotrephes is another. Looking for one more. Fun fact: my first sermon was on Third John. It was uh, down at Kirksville. Since it was a short chapter, I tried to memorize the whole thing, and when I tried to give the sermon, I tried to quote the whole chapter and completely messed it all up. So, if you're uh, new to the faith and you're going to be given a sermon, I'm sure it'll go better than my first one did. <laughs> Alright, we got it. Uh, good job, Kimber. Kimber got it. Gaius. Next category. This is the second category of five categories. Category number two, where could I go? Where could I go? Where could I go? Oh, oh, we got audio? Let's see if we can play the song. I like that song. Also enjoyed uh, last Sunday's comments where somebody asked, uh, uh, who's that singer in our uh, services? And it was just a acapella bridge is a uh, one person. He's like, oh, he blends so well. It's really funny. All right, so that uh, category, where could I go? First question, where was King David born? Where was King David born? It's an important place throughout the Bible. Hey, Brad got it. So did Maddie. Must have a fast internet there be able to keep up. It is Bethlehem in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 4. And also you might have noticed uh, I don't have the comments going up on the screen, so if you get it wrong, that's all right. Uh, other people will see, but I think after the fact, it doesn't show the comments, so you don't have to worry about people playing it back and realizing you got them all wrong. <laughs> Next question. The City of Palms. Where was the City of Palms? 
is a children's song that a lot of people like to sing at Pleasant Hill. <laughs> they go marching around it. Around the walls of not Jerusalem. Jericho. There we go. Jericho. Around the walls of Jericho. That's the city of palms. Deuteronomy 34, verse 3, and 2 Chronicles 28, verse 15. Next question. What is the Hebrew for Megiddo? The Hebrew for Megiddo. A lot of people refer to it as doomsday. Yep. Armageddon. Revelation chapter 16, verse 16. Next question. Land in Egypt where Jacob's family lived. What was the land in Egypt where Jacob's family lived? Midian? No, not Midian. Oh, Lowell got it, and so did Brad. And Oh, look at all those answers coming in. Goshen, correct. Goshen. Next question. Where were they first called Christian? Christians? Where were they first called Christians? This was definitely in the last trivia question, uh, trivia, uh, family trivia on Wednesday. In Acts, the church at Antioch. Yep, Antioch. Look at that. Everybody got that right. What was the city Jesus lived in after Nazareth? After Nazareth, where did Jesus, Jesus go and live? Hey, there we go. Brad got it. Capernaum. Capernaum. And uh, looks like Lowell's ahead on the next question. We haven't even got to it yet. Where was Jesus' first miracle? <laughs> If you want to get the answer right, go ahead and copy what Grandpa Will just typed in. <laughs> Cana, Cana, correct. John chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Next question, what city was David king in for his first seven years? His first seven years, where was he king? Correct. Hebron. Hebron. He he Hebron. 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 <laughs> Second Samuel chapter five. It's a lot of a lot of really good stories in uh, that that book. Second Samuel. Uh, really, the history section. Uh, we did a, a seven studies, and I did the history section. And that section, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, great stories. I'd recommend going back and reading some of those. Next one, both Esther and Daniel were both in the palace in this city. What city was it? There's two different answers, uh, two different names for them. Uh, looks like Lowell got one, Susa. Anybody want to try to figure out what the other one was? Pretty close to the same sounding name. Susa and anybody? Anybody? Shush. <laughs> Shushan. There we go. Shushan. Brad got it. Next one. Melchizedek was king of what city? What city was Melchizedek king of? in the book of Genesis. Hey, got it, got it from a couple people. Brad, Kimber, Sam. Hey, Sam Woody. Nice to have you here. Looks like we got a couple of new people in. Uh, Mike Warner and Sam Woody. Glad to have you here. That's correct. It was Salem. Genesis chapter 14, verse 18. Round number three. Round number three of five. Count your blessings. So I don't know why we have that as a question mark. That, that should be an exclamation point. Count your blessings. All right. The questions for count your blessings. First one, how many fish 
did the disciples catch when casting on the right side? When casting on the right side, how many fish did they catch? <laughs> None? Mm. No, I think that was on the left side. They didn't catch any. I don't think it's a trick question. Unless Dad's messing with me. He put this together. So, <laughs> Oh, 150. That's really close. Really close. Uh, Mom got it. 153. 153. Too many. I think that's the story where the boat starts to fall, starts to tip because there's so many fish. I might be wrong. I might have to go back and fact check that. Uh, how much longer did Methuselah live than Adam? A little bit of math to this question. Kind of a trick question. I'm not sure you can Google this because unless you Google do two Googles. You can look up how long Methuselah lived, lived and Adam lived, but uh, uh, otherwise you're going to have to do a little bit of math. Methuselah being the oldest man to ever live. I'll give you a clue. He lived 969 years. So if you know how long Adam lived, then you can do the math. 20? Uh, a little higher than that. Hey, Sam, what do you got? 39 years. 39 years. Nice job, Sam. Hope you're not Googling the answers. Don't Google. All right, next question. Means, uh, what means God hath numbered thy kingdom? God hath numbered my, thy kingdom. Meeny, meeny. Yep, meanie meanie. Well, or one meanie. I guess it's a meanie version of meanie meanie. <laughs> yep, uh, remember that meanie meanie tackle you first and the writing is on the wall. All right, round three. Uh, question, what is this, three or so? Uh, how long was Moses in Egypt, in Midian, and in the wilderness? Forty years, yep. You got it. Three different sections of forties. Forty years in Egypt, forty years in Midian, and forty years in the wilderness. It's a long time in each of those. All right. The angel of the Lord killed how many Assyrian soldiers in one night? The angel of the Lord killed how many Assyrian soldiers in one night? Number ones are a little bit difficult, so if you want to try to speed rush to it, it's in 2 Kings chapter 19. Oh, we don't even have time for that. Mike Warner is too fast. He knows his, knows his history. 185,000. 185,000. So we'll go to the next question. How many feet long was Noah's Ark? How many feet was Noah's Ark? can't remember if they... Uh, Put this question in a, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, there's a different kind of measurement. Cubit? Yeah, is that a cubit? Is that the, is that the term for it? Yeah, a cubit. Isn't that like the length of your, length of your arm? 450 feet. Uh, yep, Brad, Brad Rankin and Mike Warner got it. Mom said two football fields. I think that's I think that's a little long. What is there 120 feet on a football field, something like that? Or actually, that'd be a little short then. <laughs> Math is not. <laughs> uh, that's why he's stay in school. <laughs> well, I finished school. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> How many children did Leah give birth to? How many children did Leah give birth to? <laughs> Four, six, four, four, no, a little more. There we go, Sam, Sam got it. Seven, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Dinah. It's a lot of kids. How long from the ascension to the pouring of the Holy Spirit? How much time was there between the ascension and the pouring of the Holy Spirit? No, no, 
50 days. A lot of people are answering 50 days. 10 days, pretty close. Give you a clue. It's the uh, same answer Sam Woody just posted. But is it weeks? Is it months? Is it days? Is it minutes? Seven what? Seven days. So it, it might have actually been 10 days. It's approximately one week. How many Old Testament books have one chapter? How many Old Testament books have one chapter? <laughs> Three, two, two books. A lot of people go with the, the small numbers. Three, two, three. One, but you're all wrong because this is a little bit of a trick question. Think about the wording of it. Hey, Shay picked up on the wording. So did mom. I wonder if dad told them. 39. There are 39. Obadiah has only one. Trick question. Sorry. Next question, how many times did they march around Jericho? How many times did they march around Jericho? Thirteen, yep. Bull and Mom and Mike Warner and Andrew Hansen. Man, we got a lot of people getting this one. Thirteen, that's in Joshua chapter six. I think we might have had that one previously on our first run, so they might have remembered that. Because I think that was a stumper as well. So category number four. Category number four of five is ancient words. I think we have an audio audio clip. You want to play that? Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come. You, you played it too long. People knew that I wasn't singing it. <laughs> Trying to lip sing. All right. First question in round number four is kind of a long one. There is also an antitype which now says, which now saves us. Baptism, not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Where is that found? What verse is that found? A lot of people applauding me on my lip syncing. I've been practicing. Lowell got it. First Peter chapter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, he didn't quite get it. One chapter off. Mike got it. Uh, First Peter 3.21. First Peter 3.21. And if. Uh, you don't get the exact verse on these. You can go ahead and put the, uh, the book. Because uh, some of these verses might be, it might be a little hard to memorize every single verse and where it's found. But if you get the book, I'll give you credit. Uh, next verse. These all died in faith, not having received the promise, the promises, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. What book? Oh, we got a we got the book and chapter, Hebrews eleven, by Brett Jones. Anybody have the exact verse where that's found in Hebrews eleven? Yeah, a lot of people got that it's in Hebrews. Hebrews eleven verse. Brad Rankin, thirteen. Hebrews eleven thirteen. Next verse, all scripture is given by, in, uh, given by inspiration of God 
and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Where is that verse found? Yep, Brett Jones, 2 Timothy 3.16. It's a good one to have memorized. You can quote that one quite a bit. Probably should. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men the most pitiable. Where is this found? I might just take the, the book for this one. What book do you think this one is in? Oh, Sam, what do you got? 1 Corinthians 15, 19. Nice job, Sam. And Jordan. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Where is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me found? Yep. Philippians 4.13 Definitely one to have memorized. Next verse is You believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. Where is that verse found? James 2.19. Nice job, Jordan. It's a, another verse in that same chapter. The 15th verse is one that I like as well. Um, if you don't know it, go check it out. little teaser. Uh, next uh, verses, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Where is that verse found? Aiden got it in Romans. Uh, yep. I think, oh, Brad was close. He's one, one verse off. So was Brett. There we go, Becky. Becky McKinney got it. Nice to have you on, Becky. Romans 12, verse 1. Next verse. For perhaps he departed for a while for this purpose, that you might receive him forever. For perhaps he departed for a while for this purpose, that you might receive him forever. I'll give you a clue. The chapter is one, because it's the only one that limits limits it to five books, I believe. Philemon. Yep, correct. Philemon is the book. Any idea where the verse is? See if anybody can rush there real quick. This is the open Bible, not open internet. Yep, Philemon 15. Verse 15, that is. Next verse. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. There's actually two places that you can uh, uh, refer to this passage. One's in the Old Testament and one is in the New Testament. Denise got the Old Testament one. It's in the book of Joel. Uh, that's Joel chapter 2, verse 28. And it looks like Brett Jones got the second one. Uh, and the New Testament, Acts chapter 2, uh, verse 17. Sam got it as well, and so did Barbara. All right, so next one should be a quick one. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That was really quick. Barbara Landis got it. 2 Timothy 2.15. 2 Timothy 2.15. And that's something that we need to work on quite a bit. All right. Round number five. This is the last category. Something about that name. 
something about that name. You might have noticed that he has some songs to it. I tried. <laughs> uh, they kind of drew out some of the words on that one. All right. Something about that name. Told by Jesus to be born again. Who was told by Jesus to be born again? I'll give you a clue. It's pretty close to my name. Nicodemus. Correct, Sam. It's one of my favorite chapters and verses. What hinders me from being baptized? All right, next question. Jews conspired to kill him because of what Jesus had done for him. Who did they conspire to kill because Jesus raised him from the dead? Little hint. Lazarus. Correct. Brad Rankin. Those, those Rankins, they're getting it. In his temptation, Jesus quoted three times from which book? I believe this was right after he was baptized. He was taken out to the wilderness. Fasted for a long time. And he quoted from this book three times when Satan tempted him. Isaiah, not Isaiah. It's not a bad guess. Deuteronomy, correct. Yeah, if, if it was a question about prophecies, that's that's more where you'd find uh, references to Isaiah. It's, Isaiah has a lot of prophecies in it, but Deuteronomy is where you refer to. Round five, next question. How much older is John the Baptist than Jesus? <clears throat> How much older was John the Baptist than Jesus? I'll give you a clue. It's less than nine months. Six months, correct. Yep. If I remember right, uh, John the Baptist's mother said uh, her, I think, was it John kicked in her womb while when uh, Jesus or when Mary came to her? Yeah, that's in Luke, Luke chapter 1 that it says, John the Baptist is six months older than Jesus. Next question, what name did Isaiah say they would call Jesus? What name did Isaiah say they would call Jesus? Oh, it's Leet. It wasn't Kit. Yeah, that's right. Emmanuel. Correct. Hey, nice, nice to have you here, JC. And Denise. Great job. You got it. Emmanuel. Next question. Who did Jesus say was the wise man who built on the rock? Wise man built his house upon the rock. It's like a rock. <laughs> who was the wise man who built his house on the rock? Matt and said, those who follow Jesus. I mean, that's pretty close. JC said Peter. That's, that's a little more specific. He, he said, uh, I think that was, Peter's name means rock. Yeah. He who... Blank my blank and blank them. I'll give you the clue. It's Matthew chapter 7. It's where you'll find the wise man who built his house on the rock. The one who listens to his words and does them. Yep. He who hears my words and does them. Correct. Next one. When God, when did God say, "This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased"? Should be a pretty fast one, I think. 
<laughs> yep, Sam Woody got it, his baptism. Uh, you can also throw in his transfiguration there in uh, Matthew chapter 13, or chapter 3 and chapter 17. Next question, who did Jesus take with him further into the garden? Who did he take with him further into the garden? I think he took the, the same group of uh, uh, three people was it on the mountain too when he was transfigured. Peter, James, and John. Yep. Kind of the three go-to uh, people that were really close to him. That's refers to him bringing them along specifically a few times. Next question, why did Jesus tell John he needed to be baptized? Why did Jesus need to be baptized? It's uh, something to know for sure uh, when discussing baptism with others. It sets the example, that is to fulfill all righteousness. Quite a few people got that one. To fulfill all righteousness as referred to in Matthew 3, verse 15. Jesus raised his daughter from the dead. Who did Jesus raise this person's daughter? Or what was the name of the man uh, who had the daughter that Jesus raised from the dead? Wow, I got, the, got that one quick. Good job, Barbara. Jairus. Or Jairus. I don't know how to pronounce it. Luke 8, 41. And that was the last question. Um, I want to thank you all for coming out and playing this game with us. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's good to refresh your Bible knowledge. Uh, and uh, as we referred to earlier, it's important to study to show thyself approved. Um, not just for these kind of occasions where you're answering questions, but to know what to discuss with other people while you're out in the world. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining me. Uh, uh, if you have any announcements, go ahead and put them in the chat real quick. Uh, if anybody needs prayers uh, specifically, put them in the chat. We'd like to mention them. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, trying to skim through the comments. They're coming in quick here. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I was a little nervous doing it, but I'm glad I did it. That's, that's all good. I think everything's all right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining me. Uh, I think we're, we're going to have a quick prayer to close it out. Um, quick, One quick announcement. Uh, we still have Sunday service. We'll be streaming. We'll be streaming at 10 o'clock Central Time this Sunday, uh, 30 minutes beforehand or so. We'll have uh, Voices from the Past, which is... A few individuals who have passed on that gave a sermon that we really enjoyed. Uh, just a short 15-minute sermon from two different individuals that will be playing starting at 9.30. So if you want to listen to a, a sermon beforehand, go ahead and start at 9.30. If you want to just hop in for services, you can hop in at 10. But uh, I definitely recommend hopping in at 9.30 this Sunday. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, really good places to refer to at this time where things are a little difficult to meet face to face um, go ahead and check out video Bible readings uh, I know quite a few evangelists have spent a lot of time recording themselves going in-depth studies uh, so if you're feeling a need for some deeper studies in specific sections of the Bible uh, go check out video Bible readings on YouTube uh, and I think Martinstown also has a private group that uh, you can try to request to get access to. I'm sure they're probably approving everybody. Uh, and Wade Stanley is giving some sermons on there. So uh, that's another nice place to refer to during this difficult time where you can't meet as much face to face. Uh, if anybody knows of any other resources that you think would be worth checking out, please put it in the chat and we'll try to share it as well. Uh, Nothing else. Let's see here. Uh, I think that's everything in the chat. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and close out with prayer.